the best conversation with a spirit or soul that we've ever had ghost hunting. First time I ever saw a full body apparition was right in this hall. Yo, Can you yo, fucking not. There's no way. It's like a very dark thing. Or were you the bull? Are you guys down here? Whoa, I just felt someone move my shirt. Even get chained up and it on the bat? I have to like watching my back, dude. Fuck. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. This is night three of 30 from our USA road trip series. Whaley House, Queen Mary, Ohio Reformatory, Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, Preston Castle, Crescent Sanatorium, Sally House, Abbey Monastery, Stanley Hotel, Alcatraz, and many more are still to come. Weekly episodes. So please make sure to subscribe. It can be very intimidating. Tell him to back off. Not told him to back off and just let him run its course. <laughs> I've been to a few places. <laughs> got sick from like actual ghosts and things. This is definitely a case. Oh, guy can see it. Uh, oh, no, he's actually here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so an update now. Elton just ran back down the stairs to go back outside to throw up some more. We don't know. And we actually don't know how he's actually feeling. He's usually like a tough guy that wants to stick it through, but I don't know. I think he could be legitimately sick or actually someone's really attacking him. Yeah, attacking yeah. him. So to get as much evidence as we can, I think that we should split up in groups right now. Yeah. It could be really you dangerous. Two yeah. Can go together. Take Evan. Yeah, take Evan. Okay. And then I'll stay up here with Kyle. And then we'll just see what we can get. And then you if, know, maybe give it an hour. Or if Elton comes back in, that's yeah. when we regroup. Okay. Right. But we can't be wasting time, you know. Yeah, yeah can't let's, wait, let's make the most of us. We also gotta be super safe. Yeah, but let's make sure he didn't get sick for nothing, you know. Let's still have a good yeah. a, a good of a Experience. I think he's getting attacked by something. I'm 100% sure. He's, he was oh, fine man. when he walked in here. Really All of a sudden, fun. he said the following thing, and now he's like throwing up. He's like gone. Yeah. You get like real. a headache, or it, even if you feel pain, like on the back of your neck, mm -hmm. like literally rub it yeah. and like say yeah. a prayer because yeah. that means that something's trying to attach to you. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is really dark. I got my cross on me. Let's go. Same. Let's go, Jesus Christ. Order, reform, rehabilitation, discipline. These were the words that stood for Preston School of Industry, now known as Preston Castle. Located in Northern California, from the outside, Preston Castle was commended for its values and drive as one of the best known reform schools. But from the inside of its halls were stories of abuse, malpractice, and horrors. Over time, this place of hope became filled with stories of torment, suffering, and death. There is even a graveyard on the property dedicated to the boys that have died here. Not only the youth, but the staff were also in constant danger of attack, escape, and in some cases, ruthless murder. From visual manifestations, shadow figures, disembodied voices, and people getting brutally scratched, there is no shortage of paranormal evidence. But before the investigation begins, we must look at the history of Preston Castle. In the 1890s in the United States marked the start of the Youth Corrections Reform Movement to move youth from adult prisons to their own reformatory to learn skills in an effort to rehabilitate them. It was believed that through trade skills, these troubled youths could develop and be integrated back into society upon release. Through this increased need for reformatories, Preston Castle was built between the years of 1890 to 1894. It was massive in size with a total of 50,000 square feet, including a basement, four floors, and 77 rooms. The ages of the boys varied from 12 to 24, depending on need for space and the period of operation. The boys sent to this location either committed atrocious crimes, or in some cases, were simply abandoned by their parents. At its peak, Preston Castle was 1,000 acres, held 800 wards, 200 employees, and about 50 buildings, essentially causing the boys to live in their own bubble, one that they wished would burst. Although intentions appeared to be for the well-being of the boys, it quickly became an overcrowded place and stories of abuse became rampant. Within reports from Preston Castle, the superintendent would emphasize the need for more discipline and custody. They announced that each individual would be treated very differently depending on behavior and segregation was very common if not encouraged. There were many rumors of poor living conditions and malpractice from the staff, where punishments ranged from isolation, starvation, to public paddling, 
and lashings. Additionally, when boys were first checked into the building, they were shaved, stripped, and plunged into a pool of harsh chemicals. They were forced to walk with a pole submerged under the chemicals to get rid of any pests, especially lice, on their heads. This was only the beginning of the harsh approach and treatment they received at Preston Castle. It appears that much of the malpractice began at the highest rank with the first superintendent. After several of the employees were fired, they openly accused him of mistreatment. Yet no proof was found, but it was a beginning for harsher treatment asserted by future superintendents. The second superintendent had a reputation to be ruthless as well, and was said to have methods of torture and abuse that he enjoyed employing. He unfortunately had friends in high places, so little could be done to make him step down. It was only when the media started to smear his name with stories that he did step down as well. Yet this cycle continued, time and time and time again. Nearly all through its history, Preston Castle was full of scandals and horrific stories of misconduct, not only from supervisors or officers, but all of the other staff members as well. In 1909, Dr. Randall was forced to resign due to investigations of an instance where he imprisoned one boy in an attic for 90 days. With every year, Preston Castle seemed to accumulate more stories of abuse and neglect that took place particularly in the dormitory of the building. Due to all of the horrific occurrences, it is considered to be one of the most haunted areas of the building. Many people express feelings of being unsettled when entering the dormitory. Figures are often described looking at the visitors from doorways around the various parts of the building. These horrific conditions became so extreme that in 1923, a journalist from the San Francisco Daily News went undercover as a ward to see it for himself. Through his expose, the rumors were brought to light as fact that the officers would administer terrible punishments. Fights would often break out among the boys, and in one of the worst cases, a riot began after a boy was stabbed during a fight. This reporter would stay there and purposely tried to be disobedient against orders and after picking a fight himself, was sent to solitary confinement for 15 days. He wasn't the first to be sent to the cells. Evidence of scratches in the walls, names, crosses, and many other things show the psychological torment countless boys before him endured. No one was safe in Preston Castle. There was a constant battle between officers and wards. It was said that new escape attempts would be made on a weekly basis. A more official count in the first 18 years of operation are 66 boys managed to escape or attempted to and were caught. The escape attempts could result in bloody fights between officers and wards. One in particular left a guard nearly dead. On April 20th, 1904, one of the youths, Edward Rowe, attacked a night watchman in the dormitory. He, along with an accomplice, tried to escape via water pipe. The attack was so severe, the watchman almost died. Although they escaped, they were later caught and sent to Folsom Prison for adults instead. They were sentenced to 10 years for assault to commit murder. Escapees have been shot and killed during attempts to leave the property, while murder attempts were common against the guards. There are many boys and guards believed to still remain on the property due to anger they feel towards this place, resulting in many visitors feeling heavy or uneasy energy all throughout the 50,000 square foot building. Even when it came to surgery, there was very little emphasis on safe practice. Due to this, the infirmary is a hot spot for activity from the many deaths and immense energy of suffering that was prolonged there. This is in fact the place that I started to feel the worst pain of my life. And yet there is still one more brutally notable incident of the castle. In 1950, one of the most brutal deaths occurred. The head housekeeper, a favorite among the boys, was beaten to death beyond recognition in the basement. The killer was never discovered, although fingers were pointed from students to staff, yet nothing was proven. There is an abundance of paranormal activity documented in the basement that points to a dark entity residing there. From disembodied voices to phantom smells, knocks, mist, and an entity that enjoys messing with technology, there's a lot that is said to happen in this part of the building. After many deaths, rumors, and outrage from the media, Preston School of Industry closed partially in 1960, and a new facility was built nearby, with the focus turned there. Many of the buildings that made up Preston Castle were left vacant and fell into disrepair until 2001. The castle and the immediate surrounding property of 12.9 acres was deeded over to the Preston Castle Foundation by the state of California on November 7th, 
2014. Over the years, Preston Castle has become renowned for its history and paranormal activity. This building holds many secrets that remain among the dead that once lived here, with many reports of strange sounds, anomalies, slamming doors, falling objects, orbs, sudden gusts of wind, phantom voices, and phantom touches. The truth of all of the horrors that occurred behind closed doors might be lost to rumors, but through investigations, more of the puzzles are put together. Whether answers will ever be found is unclear. However, it is clear that there is an evil darkness that lingers, making itself known to anyone who enters. Right, now, who's coming with me in, uh... Well, I have a new toy. For anyone in here, if you want to play with it, it's a nice cute little bear. I'm going to set him right there. You can pet his head. You can try picking him up. My name's Corey, by the way. This is Kyle. We don't mean any harm at all. Well, let's go. Uh, go ahead, all right, Evan, you go first, bro. <laughs> bro. God dang, this is way more So scary. big. So this is where... He's supposed to be, right? Yeah. The Shadow Man like walks up and down. Holy f All right. We're, we're all doing it. It's okay. So, oh, it's freezing in here. We have a music machine, by the way, guys. See? It plays a really cool song. You can make it play music. All you have to do is walk in front of it. See? Also have another game that I'd like to play with you guys. I don't know if you know this game. It's called the flashlight game. And that's how you can talk to me. I'm gonna set this up and you can answer me by turning it on and off, okay? Yeah, we can sit in the crowd. All right, that turn off your light. Holy It's going off. I can't tell what level. It was beeping already. It was a temperature beep. Alright, you guys want to sit down and just stare? Yeah, actually I kind of do. Who would have thought this was our life, bro? I know, man. It could have been anything in the world. Anything. Anything. An astronaut. What that? What's going on? What's going off right now? I don't see him, but do you hear it? Yeah. Here, from here. Oh! oh. That's Holy f that's motion. Is there anyone here? Drowned. Friendly. Drowned and friendly. Are you friendly? Stare. Things. Stare and things. Fall. Position. Fall. Position. Whoever guards this hallway, my name's Josh, and we're trying to talk to you. My name is Matt, and we're just checking out your building. It's a beautiful place you have. We don't mean you any harm. We don't want to aggravate you. We're just saying hello. Wrong. Yeah. Can you show yourself or walk down here? Are we bothering you? We've been told that you make yourself seen down by the red sign down there. Can you do that for us? Can we see you? Okay, I set the flashlight up. Beth. Density. Beth again. Beth. It said Beth downstairs. You turn the flashlight off? Is Beth in here with us? Who's Beth? You, you've said the name Beth two times. Do you work down here? 
I heard shuffling. We can't hear you, but we can see and hear that box on the ground. It won't hurt you, but it lets us communicate with you. If you answer yes to any of our questions, just touch the box on the ground. It'll light up and make a noise. It won't hurt you, but it'll let us know that you're saying yes. I know that there was a lot of people that went to this school, huh? I'm sure some of them were bullies, right? Were there some bullies in your school and you were friendly? Mm. Oh, I'm really sorry. No one likes a bully. I know. <sighs> were you bullied? Would they pick on you? They were mean to you? Or were you the bully? Mmm. Okay. You know what we could try? Should we go closer but sit in like the chairs? The pews in there? Yeah. Like we're like a little closer. Something? Yeah, right, but right. I just can't, can't tell. Can't, yeah, because the way the door... The camera's on the ground, right? Evan? Facing us, yeah. So what's the little sparkling thing in the left corner that you see? Uh, there may be like a red light blinking from the GoPro. It's like, a, it's a white light though. Oh, that I don't know. Okay, You've I been see. seeing it, right? Dude, it's so dark in here. It's actually really freaky. Yeah. Okay. Did you take your anger out on other kids here? And you regret it? What? You didn't hear that? What was that? There's something out there. I hear it right now. It's like a cracking noise. You hear that? Yeah. You heard that? Yeah. I'm hearing a lot of stuff right now. Yeah, no, I, I definitely hear that. Do you want to keep talking to me? Can you turn the flashlight back on? Turn it back on for yes. Or maybe I got it wrong. What was that? Yeah. Beast. Beast? Shove. Doubt. Shove. Doubt. Beast? All right, so I'm turning my flashlight on. That's a, whoa, I just felt someone pull my shirt. Dude, this is going ham right now. Whoa, okay. I'm kind of getting a stomach ache now. I felt someone touch my shirt. We're gonna keep getting closer until you make yourself known, until we get to the end of that room. If you don't want us to get closer, give us a sign. It's not doing it yet. It's, it's not there. Oh, there. You saw it? I didn't see that. I don't know. Oh, that's touch. What was that? That's that was full touch? Oh, Earlier, when I was just asking you questions, I. Yes. Now, I want to know if I got this wrong. If you were the bully, can you turn the flashlight off? I'll give you five seconds. Okay. So you were the bully. Okay. Man. Him. Unclear. Him. Unclear. Okay. Do you wish that you weren't a bully when you were here? 
Do you wish that you were nicer to people? Turn that flashlight on if yes. If you prefer to knock on something or make a noise, do that. Are you glad that you ran this school? You would just go around picking on everybody. You make up the rules. You didn't care what no one said. Turn that flashlight on if yes. You like being the bully. I'll give you five seconds, all right? Five, four, three, two, one. I mean, the last thing that this said was unclear. Yeah. Like, you know, like oh. unsure or, you know, maybe he doesn't know. It's recording right now. Okay. Yo, you gotta get on one knee and like be like a hunter. Like right here? Yeah. That's a, dude, you're literally a true ghost hunter now. <laughs> like you're hunting with binoculars for a ghost, it's not even like- It really quick. Really close. Are you here or not? If you're not here, we're gonna go back upstairs. Is your name Ed? Am I speaking with Ed right now? This, this said Ed. Right now? Before unclear, it said Ed. Yeah. Okay. What's up, Ed? Can you turn the flashlight off, Ed, for me? You almost got it. Come on, make it dark in here. There we go. There we go. A H. A H. It just said A. Ah. We just rolled the ball down there. Can you touch the ball or roll it back to us? When it gets red, does that mean it gets hotter? What's that? I, w I would assume so. Yeah. Because the ball's getting redder. It was yellow. Interesting. And it's like heating up a bit. This device right here I'm holding, you've been doing good speaking into it. I'm not really able to see you, but I'm pretty sure that you can see me and you can hear me. But it's a little different where I am because I'm not able to see you. And I can't really hear you as clear. That's why these tools that we have help us so much. So, I'm gonna ask you one time with the tool that's in my hand. Focus. Okay? What should I focus on? Do you want me to ask you different questions? After. After. After what? Well, we might go to another room. We might go try to talk to some other people if that's okay with you. I'm sorry if there's anyone else in here and you are too scared to play with us. It's okay and I understand. We're probably just a bunch of strangers to you, but I can assure you there's nothing to be scared of. But, I want to thank you for talking with us. Everyone says you're like a shadow figure, a person, or a shadow man. Can you tell us what or who are you? Over the past 100 years, how many young boys came through this door? Where's it coming from? I think. And like that shadow? Oh, the stairway to nowhere? The stairway to nowhere? Yeah. If you can, I'll ask you one more time to say goodbye to us right now. Anyone that's in here, any of you that I just spoke with. I was gonna say, can you turn the flashlight on? <laughs> Thank you. 
You already knew what I was going to ask. All right, well, you know we like it dark, so can you turn the flashlight off for me? And we're going to go ahead and get out of your hair. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What is that? Back a little further. What does that say? It's saying something as I stopped it. Hey, I can slow it down. What is it? Take it back further so we can hear yeah, it. So yeah, stop. Alright, we'll stop. That's a what whole voice, saying? but we can't let, make it. Let me put the microphone right up to it. Okay, ready? Whoa. You, Why don't see, you... you see how large the spikes are when it's our voice. Like, it's massive. Holy shit, bro. This place is really huge, isn't it? Yeah, it's big and scary. <laughs> Which way should we go? I just set down on the barrow a device that will allow you to talk to us. But in order to do that, you need to go up to it and speak as loudly and as clearly as you can into it, and you'll be able to talk to us. I want to ask you a couple questions. One question is, are you trapped here? Do you like it here? Is it true? that some of the kids here murdered the workers? Was this a nice place for the boys to live? Were any of the boys who lived here or worked here, were they ever treated badly? Did anything bad happen to them? I will get it back. Why do you run like that? My pants are falling down. Little creep. <laughs> run. Alright, here we go. Alright, dude. It's like it stops. Alright, here we go. Let's see. I'm excited. Come on, baby. Something good. I just sat down on the bed. Wait a minute. What's that? I think right off the bat. What is that? I don't know if that was something or is that you breathing? No, because after you set it down, I ran. Watch. It's a breath or something. I just set down on the barrel. One more. Yeah, it's like a breath or something. I just set down the barrel. You hear it? Wait, I'm gonna slow it. Do you hear it? I felt like something grabbed my ankle. I felt my my pants like tighten, dog. Right here. Like it felt like a, it felt like a. That was weird. That's did you just grab my ankle? If you did, you gotta make one of these two tools go off that I have set up. So I can know it's you. And I'll come back later. Ooh, something just grabbed my ankle. Are you serious? Dude, I felt like more like a tickle, kind of like right here. No way. It wasn't really like a grab, it was like a... Are you serious? Yeah, no, it was like straight up, like it, like I said, it wasn't a grab, it was kind of like a, like a little tickle. It was distinct though. Are you messing with us? You're running around grabbing our ankles? I think maybe we should see if they got anything. I think those EVPs are pretty solid. I think oh, it's just, I think it's not too bad actually. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's head out. I think that this might be better with some other tools later. Yeah. Especially with the whole group. Guys. Yeah. Oh, you're down here. Yeah. Well, what were those footsteps we heard? I don't know. <laughs> Bro. They'll never come back here. 
puking pretty bad. He's puking pretty bad? He's like currently puking right now. Did he actually come back in here? No, we went out there to go check on him and he said that he just like threw up the worst he's ever thrown up in his whole life. Dude. Oh, so that's he actually... said he fell asleep and woke up to pretty much like throwing up. Was he in the RV? Yeah. Did you guys get anything? A little bit. We oh. both got our ankles pretty much grabbed. What the hell? No Within way. 10 really? seconds of each other. His yeah. was grabbed, mine was like a tickle, but I definitely felt it. Flashlight game. Crazy. Oh, going off. We were talking yeah. to a bully. Yeah, bully? Every, every time yeah. you say, are you a bully, it would go off. Yeah, oh, flash right and then I asked him, I was like, you know, I was like, do you regret being a bully? Do you wish you were nicer? Nothing. We were downstairs trying to talk to the shadow person. Yeah. Literally nothing. We were at the end of the hallway. We had the REM pod down there. Yeah. It went off on touch. Like, what, three or four times, I yeah. think? But other than that, we mean temperature a lot. So we worked our way down. We sat on the pews. Mm -hmm. We got closer. Then we were in the main room. And still nothing. So Josh really? was like, why don't we just try some EVPs? So we did questions for like, I don't know, like two minutes. And we're like, ah, we'll turn it off. We'll go back and listen to it. We listen to it, nothing, except for the last second you hear something go like, move fast. Yeah. Whoa. It was like, yeah, we have it. Pretty we have it. I think it says like almost like move faster. He, he was able to prick it up. And it was nice. And, and then the second yeah. one, you hear like a help twice. Yeah, in a girl voice, by the way. It's in a girl's voice. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. That's for my cell phone. I got the name Beth twice. Wasn't that the same name from in there? Yeah. It could be, maybe it is Beth. Maybe this is the Beth here. I think, and then it said drowned. Oh no. Oh, what? Yeah. I mean, well, that's not good. We're getting stuff though. I this got friendly nice. two more times up there. I feel like it's half friendly or they're friendly and they're lying. They're like, they're actually not friendly or at I all. I think that there are friendly ones here, but then I feel like that there's, you know. Yeah. Mean ones. I mean, kids no. are, you gotta remember, kids are mischievous. Yeah. Yeah, well, we were talking real quick. We were gonna see if we can get anything in this hall because this is where she saw the doctor walk. Right. So uh, maybe because now you're with us and yeah, the doctor you stuff. can walk the hall, Josh, and try to reenact something. And we'll mm -hmm. set up our tools and see if we can get you yeah. know maybe any doctor. Like you should be like calling all doctors. Follow yeah. me. Mm -hmm. Like please come down to the hallway. Yeah. yeah. Right, let's like try that. that. Yo, Elton closed this earlier. Dude, right before we left, he was like, I'm afraid somebody's gonna hit their head on it. I don't know if that's on camera, but Elton literally said that. He's like, just so no one breaks this, I'm gonna close this. Close it now. Does it fall? You see her talking? Yeah. Hello? You know what's crazy? Yeah, and even if it wasn't yeah, no, shut. You know what's crazy? Because I was about to say, and I was, I was gonna leave it off for the video. I was gonna like, I don't think he latched it, but you can clearly see not latched. It's still ready. Right? It'll be crazy. If we came back in here and all our toys were like moved around, all our tools. Shall we go to the hallway? Wait, is it this way? Okay. Yo. Temperature. So I'm gonna go down there. Yeah. I'm gonna set this in between this because isn't that the dining hall? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, maybe put it. Yo! What? Yo! Kid, you Yo. fucking not. Get in here, get in here. There's no fing way. It's no open. No way, dude. We closed it. We fing closed it. I literally it's looked at Corey and I was like, yo. Dude, we, we just trust, closed trust it. So many times. It was like that. Dude, it doesn't move. Watch this. Even a little bit of pressure. Did you see me? Look how much pressure marks my finger takes. That's It still doesn't go out. That's It would have to Dude. How? I bet you can't do that again. Can you open it? I bet you can't open it. You can't open it in front of us. There's no way. You think it's funny to open the clock after we just shut it? All right, Dr. Josh. I need you to get all the doctors down here immediately. All the nurses, we need some help. This is the main doctor of the cabin. I need all the nurses and doctors to come down in the main hall immediately for a mission briefing. You know, Josh is kind of hot. I know. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the thermal camera. What were you saying? I'm fine. Whoa. Whoa, Evan. What? I thought I just saw like, like, a, like a
like a mist where come out of like where that red light is to the side where it's before the music box. I swear I thought I saw like literally a mist come out. I'm looking down and I don't see anything walking back. Temple. I need everyone in the entire building to meet me here down here at the main hall. Including staff members and doctors and nurses. Are you guys down here? I don't see you or hear you guys. Can you make a noise? Maybe make a bang or a sound so I can hear you. If you want to leave this place, follow me. Also tell me you want to leave this place. Do you not like us being here? If you need help, scream as loud as you can, help. Me and Matt are gonna go upstairs. Matt and I. Matt. That's, that's legit. And okay, we're upstairs. gonna booby trap the big room. Yep. We're gonna set up pretty much, what, nine tools that yeah. we have right now? We're gonna raise the energy as much as we can. And uh, Josh, is gonna go ahead and wander the building by alone. himself. I'm going alone and I'm only doing EVPs. I'm kind of scared, but at the same time, I actually, with the EVP me and you got, it yeah. makes me like really curious. So now I'm, I'm using an actual EVP, EVP device, not my cell phone. Mm -hmm. I'm really trying to dig in and see what I can uh, uncover. But if I am too scared, which I hope not, yeah. Just I'm gonna run yourself back. Dude, EVP is so scary because like, you won't even know if something is near you until that's, you play it back. That's what I'm. I'm scared to actually hear someone say "get out." And yeah. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. Dude, just don't yeah. listen to it until we leave. But I mean, you're dressed up as a doctor. You could treat it. So I am. I, <laughs> <laughs> I totally feel like though that if we're gone and you're by yourself something down has here, to happen. Dude. True. Something's gonna happen. True. Or maybe they're not gonna want to talk to me with a doctor outfit on because they don't even like the doctors. It's, it's, it's possible. Or maybe the, maybe because it's a different realm now, maybe they be, maybe they hate the doctors and they'll want to take it out on you. All right, I'll see you guys. We'll head upstairs. <laughs> All right, guys. It was nice knowing you. Yeah, I'm going in. Hey, I swear to God, I'm gonna scream loud as I can if something really- You think you can like, scream louder than Kyle? I think so. Hello. I came back and I brought some new friends. Where you said you said you got your ankle grabs in here? Yeah, right here. I was standing right here, and then when it happened to Kyle, he was standing right there. That's not creepy at all. So let's uh, I'm gonna booby trap the room. All right, so no joke, this is actually way more scary than I thought, and now I wish I never did it. So I told everyone, I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna go in the basement by myself, it's whatever, like I wanna do more EVPs, but now I actually don't wanna go in the basement by myself because it's way more scary than I thought. Should we uh, sit on the ground and maybe just roll this to each other? 
Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Awesome. Right oh, Capital's going nuts on that bed. Oh, shit. It's not me. It's okay if you sit right here. Dude, if it wasn't for this light that I stole without telling them, I would never have went down there. Seriously, it is ridiculous here. You guys don't understand. It's cold, it's dark. People died here. It's dark history here in general. You're only here if you were kind of bad mostly. I mean, dude, you're not gonna wanna walk these halls by yourself. And I did it, so yeah. F to haters. All right, well, we're not gonna be here for much longer. So if you wanna play catch with us, if you wanna hang out, if you just wanna talk with us, can you make one of our devices go off one more time? We'll try rolling this ball to you. Maybe you can push it back to us. Do you not wanna play? You were playing with all of our toys a second ago. Can you do it one more time? We'll throw you the ball. Alright, I'm gonna roll this over to you, okay? Can you roll it back to us? Oh, wow. There you, you go. Side. Press a, just a little bit harder on the ball. Come on. Come on, you got it. You almost got it. Push as hard as you can on that ball. Roll it to us, come on. One more time, ready? One, two, three. Is there enough people in here with us where you can touch all of the tools at the same time? Or could you even make three go off at the same time? Oh, that'd be cool. See if you can touch one and run over to the other one and make it go off right after. We'll time you. We'll see who can do it the fastest. Kids love racing. Yeah, they do. Orb. Orb. Do you, you just said, see, do you see orb? It says orb. Oh, I, okay. I did, I thought it was Our mother. Like, play place, like, come in front of my lens. Really? And so I thought you said orb, and I was like, oh man. Wait, orb. O-R-B. Yeah, like orb, like an orb. Yeah, that's what it said. Are you serious? Yeah, and then now it just said our mother. No. Dope plant. You guys wanna smoke some dope? Oh, yeah. That plant. I don't even think I've been down here. This is a whole other area. Jeez, this place is f***ed. Okay. I'm gonna use my flashlight till I get down, then I'm gonna turn the flashlight off. Did you guys like to party? Would you guys come up here and party at night time? Party a little bit. Yeah, party! Everybody likes to party. Kim. What's that? Kim. Kim? Was that there a, was there a, were there any hot girls here? Seek. Seek. Project. Project. Steven. Steven. Is there somebody named Steven here? Is Steven in here with us? Was that you? I thought I saw something behind me, like a little light. A little weird. Yeah, I've been seeing light behind you too, but... Uh, chain. Chain. Chain? What happened to Steven? Did Steven get chained up? Did he do something bad? Oh, okay. What'd Steven do? Why'd he get in trouble? Was it rough here? Yeah, man. Yeah. I 
I've been, we've heard stories. We've heard a lot of stories about this place, how a lot of people were mistreated. Is that true? Do you guys wish that they treated you better when you were here or while you were here? You feel like you were disrespected a little bit? It's okay, you can be honest. Nobody can hurt you. Move. Where are you moving to? Did you have to move here? And then you were automatically put in chains? Move to grave. Uh, yes. Oh, wow. Light going on for you. Look. Was Steven moved to a grave after he was chained up? Is that what you're saying? What was that? You heard that? I heard whispering. Yeah. Who's down here with me? Do you want me to leave this basement right now? Are you a doctor? If you want me to leave, say leave. We can't hear you too well with details, but if you go and talk... Captain. Captain? Is there a captain of this building? Like a leader? Did, he, did, did one of the leaders did of this building hurt Steven? Did the captain kill Steven? Or was Steven the captain of a baseball team? We know you guys had a baseball team here. If Steven was the captain of the baseball team, can you make that ball light up again? That's or that? That's touch. Okay. Okay, so he was the captain of the baseball team. Yeah. Felt. They felt that thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're feeling it. Yeah, you're feeling it right now. My mind's playing tricks on me because I just felt like a really freaking shiver on my right side. And I don't know if someone's actually right here or not. Oh my god, this is f Alright. I'll go a little closer. There's no way I'm turning my light off. I don't care. I don't care. You couldn't pay me. You can't pay me to turn my light off right now. Are we talking to Steven? Light up the ball that we're talking to, Stephen. No, not him, okay. Are we talking to one of Stephen's friends? Yeah. Okay, okay. And you play baseball too. Okay. Well, there also was a basketball? Basketball for you. Basketball, there it is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Man, we almost brought a basketball too. I know, we were gonna bring a basketball, we had a feeling. Basketball is awesome. I love it. Oh, yeah. Were you a uh, point guard? Yeah, okay. You got some handles. Okay. Nice. Uh, could you dunk? Were you ever able to dunk? Memory. Memory. As we're talking about basketball? Yeah, and they can dunk. You got memories of dunking. Dude, no, you couldn't dunk. Okay. No way. Okay. No way. Alright. So you got up. Uh, You love basketball, man. It is a good time. Yeah, basketball is fun. Would you guys play basketball and come up here and just chill and party a little bit? Relax? Yeah. Yeah. When did you play uh, basketball? When were you on the team? Was it, was it the 1910s? 1920s, did you play basketball? 1950s? Okay. Oh, wow. oh, so, oh, okay. All right. So you played ball in the 50s, huh? This is pretty neat. So, uh, let's see. What year exactly was it? Was it 1951? 
Start with 1950. Oh, yeah. Was it 1950? Nice. 1950. Dang. Okay. And, and Steven. Steven. And Steven was the captain. Steven was the captain of the baseball team. Okay. Maybe the basketball. Was Steven the captain of the basketball team? Just baseball? Just yeah. baseball. Okay. Okay. Oh, awesome. Damn, okay. So you played, you played basketball. Steven played baseball. Can, can I ask how old you are? I'll say a number and light up the ball when I get to your number. Are you eight? Nine? Ten? Eleven? Twelve? Twelve! Dang, you can dunk? You can dunk at twelve? You can dunk at twelve? No. That's pretty impressive. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. When you were 12 years old, Duncan, you were, you were a pretty good basketball player, huh? This place is nuts. I don't even think we've been here with everyone. All right. Try again. Who's the person that's always lurking and roaming around these halls? I'm just trying to ask you a couple questions and talk to you. Someone just sat in the desk right here. I know you guys heard that. Who's here with me right now? Yeah, will you keep talking to us for a little bit longer? Are you still here? Are you trying to warn us of something? Should we go ahead and leave now? Should we leave? What is Do you that? hear that hissing? Yeah. I just felt the floor shake.
talking with us. You know, maybe one day we can come back here. We'll bring a basketball and we can play a couple games. Yeah. Would you like that? All right, goodbye to our friend. I'm stopping it. When it I'll stop. Okay. Dude, did you guys not just hear that? I just heard something inside that freaking room. And then I also just like heard like someone just sit, sit right here or a knock. This is freaking scary. I want to head more into that, that room I was just in when I did the EVPs last time. Alright, I'm gonna stop right here. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like I'm being completely followed. Like I'm being followed right now and I'm sensing it. I feel it in my stomach. I don't feel good at all. It's freaking me out really bad. I'm getting like side of my face is getting chills. It's like a very dark feeling. So like keep watching my back, dude. Fuck. I'm leaving now. Alright, I'm not doing that again. Oh, fuck, man. It bothers me. Okay, Josh. Man. Tell us what happened now. I'm in the basement and I'm uh, I'm at like this desk. It's like a classroom almost. It's the way it's set up. And I said, is anyone here? And then something kicked the desk. And not only did I see it and feel it, but the camera recorded it and the voice recorder recorded it. So it's all there and it was really creepy. Really? Yeah, and then so after that, I went down the hall where like the shadow man was, we went down. I got nauseous, half my face was was feeling like a static. Really? I got really freaked out. I went upstairs, I was like, I'm done. And you stayed down there even after the kick? I, I, sure. I did, <laughs> I actually did. Bro, yeah. the kick, I would've been like, cool. <laughs> that oh, would've yeah. been it, like guys, I got my evidence. I felt, I I'm felt done. good. I felt like, yeah, I want to be the hero. I want to <laughs> freaking do this. You yeah. know, I want to make something good. Elton's sick, you know? Oh no, yeah. Yeah. Well, we just probably had the best conversation with a spirit or soul that we've ever had ghost hunting. That I know, so I'm very cool, curious dude. about it. You guys are talking about like, dang, I'm down there like getting freaked out and you guys are having the best conversation with, what, Steve and who? No, no, Steve, we, Steven was the captain of oh, the baseball okay. team. Okay, okay. Yeah. We were talking to uh, uh, a 12 year old who loved to he play basketball. He was on the basketball team. Dang. He was a point guard. Yep. He, was, played in the, he played in 1950. Exactly. He said he could dunk. He said which he was 12, which is such impressive. a 12 year old thing to do. <laughs> it is. Um, it is. And he said his friend, Steven, was the captain of the baseball team and something bad happened to him. Yeah, hopefully Elton's okay. Yeah, everyone comment down below. Uncle Elton, please be okay. Uh, we should probably go check on him now because it's, it's been like three, four hours since we've we're, last seen yeah. him. We're going to go in the RV and he's literally levitating oh off the, off, like, the bed. And there's like just the a kid exorcist. behind him playing basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I can dunk. I told you I can dunk. <laughs> oh okay. God. All right, yeah. let's go, let's go right, check yeah, on let's go. Right, Seriously. Right, we'll check on. Peace yeah, we'll out, guys. Hey.